Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler, and let's talk about the comprehensive digestive stool analysis. Comprehensive digestive stool analysis is an excellent way of getting an overall picture of digestive function. What's called the CDSA, that's short for Comprehensive Digestive Stool Analysis, has a number of different parts. It looks at bacteria, not only beneficial bacteria, but what's called commensal, which is sort of bacteria that naturally is in, in, in our digestive system. It's not really helpful, but it's not necessarily harmful either. And then dysbiotic flora or bacteria, which can be potentially problematic. The comprehensive digestive stool analysis also has a parasite detection, looking for parasitic infections. It breaks down markers of digestion, seeing if our pancreas is producing enough enzymes or if we're digesting carbohydrates and fats appropriately. Markers for inflammation, which are critically important to give an idea of not only generalized inflammation that might be coming from a food or infection, but markers that help to specify whether we're dealing with something more deep-seated or insidious, like an inflammatory bowel disease. It has analysis for pH, acid and alkaline balance in the digestive system, blood, and a whole lot more. Also, the comprehensive digestive uh, stool analysis, if there is an infection present, let's say there's a bacteria or a yeast present, it can do what's called a yeast or bacterial susceptibility test to help you figure out which particular remedy, whether it's an antibiotic, an antifungal, or herbal supplements that may be effective against that particular bug. So if you're an individual that is dealing with a lot of digestive problems, bloating, gas, constipation, loose stools, if you have a child who's suffering, with a number of different digestive problems or you're just wanting to get a, a better overall assessment of what their digestive function is all about, the comprehensive digestive stool analysis is an excellent test to do that. Thanks.